that things don't pick up, we're at a pretty high risk of not beating last season. It's a good thing we've got such good people out there. We've got a great group of mechanics, we've got great managers, and they're keeping things running and doing a really good job. Everybody's gonna step up. There's lots of people stepping up, and they certainly don't need me running around the mine site. Parker Schnabel has had a streak of successful seasons, but this season, his trusted lieutenants have their work cut out for them. Well, right now I have Tatiana feeding the plant froggy digging pay, and I'm doing coarse tailings. At the ugly cut, Tyson Lee is under pressure to keep the gold coming in. You know, we only have a certain amount of days of sluicing left, and every minute counts right now. Loader operator Tatiana Costa feeds Slucifer 240 yards of pay dirt an hour. We currently only have one loader, so we, I'm really trying to do all I can to be nice and easy with this loader to make sure we do not break down because that will be catastrophic right now. Hey, Tyson, you got a copy, Tyson? Go ahead, Gator Tot. Uh, there's something wrong with the plant. If you could come over here and uh, have a look. I'm on my way. Something's wrong with our pump. Hey, Alec, you got a copy, Alec? Yeah, go ahead. What's going on, Alec? So we're not getting as much water out of the water pump as we should be. The fan was not quite spinning, and the crankshaft was basically slipping on the belt. And then I noticed that stall in here. You can see, like, it's been wearing all night. Literally, the belt just coming apart on us. Slucifer's 10-inch water pump is powered by a generator. A fan cools the engine. But the fan belt has worn so thin, it's no longer spinning the fan. And the engine is overheating. We actually don't have a backup water pump. And it's pretty concerning seeing as we got a whole cut to sluice out. What's that? So our plant pump's giving us some grief, wondering if we have a different pump line around that can steal and put into play. No, they just, the motor is pretty much shot on that other backup one. It's the, the fan belt on it. <clears throat> it's slipping and kind of overheating on us, so their need new belt or different pump or... And you're gonna lose four hours of sluicing if we have to send someone to town? Yep. The four-hour return trip to Dawson for the new fan belt will cost Parker over $17,000 in downtime. Okay, I'll get on this. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, I need to call in a favor. When can you be here? We can't afford for us to drag on any longer than it has to. Right now, all I know is we have a wash plant that isn't running. What'd you do, Jordan? Went to get belts as quick as I could. <laughs> no <laughs> I didn't expect you back this fast. Alec, now just swap the belts out. Sounds good. And we'll put it back online. Right on. Right on. Thanks, Clear man. Down. No worries. Well, Jordan just flew in in a helicopter with the parts for the pump, so belts $20, delivery $2,000. Part of it's on, eh? 
Yep, yeah, it's starting to go into the groove there. That'll get a little tough, but yeah, there she's going. There, how's that? We got her. Nice. All clear and tight on this side. You happy, Jordan? Yep. Once that's all set and good. We'll be cruising. To the man, Jordan. After just two and a half hours. Give her Peter Todd. Washplant Lucifer is back up and running. Got rocks. Oh yeah. Got lots of water. Chartering the helicopter cost Parker two thousand dollars. But reducing his downtime by three hours has saved him over 10,000. Right on, boys. Yeah, yeah we're back sluicing. Hey there, youngster. What's happening? How was your day? Oh, not too bad. I mean, I didn't have to have a helicopter fly parts in for the water pump, so. <laughs> Don't get used to it, Tyson. <laughs> You want to see your ugly cut? You better take an ounce out of there because it's going to the helicopter company. <laughs> <laughs> First cleanup of the ugly. The promised land's other cuts, the good and the bad, average 200 ounces a week. 40, 60, 80, 100, 108.15. It's not bad for a first cleanup. Worth almost $195,000, but half the average for the promised land. So, Mitch, you had a smoking week last week, right? Next up, Mud Mountain, where last week Mitch Blaschke hauled in a season's best 600 ounces of gold. Oh, I got to know, Chris, did we beat it again? Well, I tell you what, you have another two pan week. That yummy look in her wife. That looks very nice. So there's your 400. OK. And you got another big thermos out, so I'm feeling pretty good. You want to count this one, Mitch? Here we so go. So we got 10, 30, 40. Oh, is that all you got in there? 45.45. <laughs> Yeah. You know, you can't break records every well, week, man. So 445.45. Worth over $800,000. 450 ounces in a week, man. Yeah. You really can't complain. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so you guys, for the season, it's 6,657.85. We're gaining on last season. That's good. All right. Well, let's finish strong. Let's do it. Cheers. Yes,